Hey, what's up, everybody? You're joining me here in a new location. Um, where we are now is going to be our second permanent set. Now, over the last couple months, it's been crazy. We've had a lot of releases, the 7000 series, all the graphics cards. Um, but during that, we've been pushing our production values and trying to shoot in a lot of new locations. And it's been really well received in the comments. We, we do see that stuff, and we appreciate that feedback. So taking that feedback into heart, we have decided to build this new set out. Um, behind me, you'll see some hardware and some monitors. But if you take a look over here, We've taken it one step further. Um, Steve has had me working on this monitor wall. And this is, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty cool. We're going to have nine total monitors. Uh, we've got a couple different specs of monitor here. Uh, the bottom row is going to be 4K. And we're actually going to uh, use these as test bench monitors. So the systems that we're going to build and have here on this, this uh, workbench are actually going to be functional benches that we will use during um, release cycles or just for regular testing, because uh, this is all climate controlled, and we can do the you know we can do our run our game benchmark tests in here. Um, so the bottom roll is 4K. Then we have 1440 and 1440 um, for the the middle row and then the top row. So as you can see here. I haven't started the cable management. We've got a bunch of extra long display port cables running so that we can do whatever we want with it. Um, we've kind of actually tossed around the idea of building a wall-mounted computer over here eventually. Um, we're still not sure. This, is, this project continues to evolve and kind of change as uh, we see all the possibilities for this space, because we've got a lot of space over here. Um, the mounts themselves are actually really cool. We went with a company called ErgoTech, and these mounting systems go right into the drywall with a bunch of toggle bolt anchors. And we'll take a closer look at those here in a second, um, if you don't know what those are. I, I imagine most of you do. But um, basically, you install this, this aluminum rail into the wall. It's got 10 mounting locations, so 10 holes. So times three, so 30 holes in the wall. This was definitely something I measured like four or five times before I started drilling because I had to drill some pretty big holes. And uh, it's the type of you know, destruction to a drywall that uh, if I got it wrong, we'd probably just have to rip out all the drywall to have it be structurally like strong enough to support all these monitors or, or just at least we'd want to be extra safe with that. So. The really cool thing about this mounting system is that all these mount, uh, mounts can be slid, slid back and forth. And also, we have them on arms so we can pull them out and extend them. So we'll be able to adjust the monitor wall. We can even add a curve to it if we want. Um, we're still not sure how it's going to frame in shot. So uh, at the moment, I've kind of got it set up flat, except for these two. And that's just so that I can access the top monitors, because I was starting to wire the power. Um, but this is going to give us a lot of adjustability in you know, the look. And we might even, I was even kind of contemplating having them come out at an angle here. I thought that'd be pretty cool just to kind of round out the corner of the room. And because the, the camera is going to be set up generally where Andrew's filming from right now. So Steve will be standing here or generally right here. And we'll be looking into the corner of the room. So anything to kind of break up that, that hard corner of the room and maybe just make it feel a little bit more cozy. Yeah, so if, if you look, and I can prove it, because Andrew just asked if, if they can reach that far out. I guess they don't. <laughs> um, I'll have to check their website again, because I think they did have extensions that go a little bit further out than this if we ended up wanting to do that. Um, we could still add a curve, though, because I can make these flush pretty flush against the wall. Um, but either way, we might have to cut that. <laughs> These don't go out as far as I thought. So if we take a step over here, we could take a look at some of the hardware up close. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is what a toggle bolt looks like. Uh, this is a really heavy duty way of mounting something. Uh, this, you drill basically a half inch a hole, and you slide this through, and then you open it up, and this goes up against the back of the drywall, and then you slide this forward. I'm not going to do it because it's once it's kind of like a zip tie. Once you've slid it forward, you, it's never going to slide back without you breaking it or snapping it. Um, and speaking of snapping, once this is pinching the drywall, so you push this forward until it's pinching the drywall, you actually snap off the plastic for however thick your drywall is. So 
if my fingers here were the drywall, we'd push this forward until it was flush with the inside of my fingers, and then we'd snap it off right here. And then, of course, we'd, we have our hardware, and the hardware goes into this threaded bit that's now lined up with that hole. Uh, this is, I think the, I don't know what the actual rating for these are, but I think they're around 80 pounds each, something like that. And we've got, uh, we've got 10 of them per, per rail. So more than enough to keep that rail up there with just three monitors hanging on each rail. And then moving over, we've got, um, we've got the actual piece that slides on the rail. It's pretty simple. It's got, uh, it's got some, I don't know what material this is. It's kind of some kind of polymer or plastic, but this is basically an anti-friction. Um, and this, this helps it slide, but of course then when the weight's down on it, it kind of locks into position. It, the front of the, I guess, swivel or the hole that the, the arm goes into is held in by one screw. I actually mounted one of the monitors to this and it didn't have the screw in it. And about one second after I put the monitor on it, it fell off. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, I caught it and I was just standing there and I was able to catch the monitor so I didn't have to order a new monitor, but that was, um, that was uh, I definitely needed a change of pants after that. Um, so the monitor itself, the hardware that goes onto it, of course we have a VESA mount. The VESA mount then mounts onto this I don't know what you'd call this. I guess it's just an assembly. <laughs> but the assembly drops into the arm that comes off the that comes off the um, sliding mount. And they just they just stack into each other. And uh, they also secure from the bottom with this uh, screw and I guess cap to keep them from coming out, but when they're assembled like this, unless you lift up and out, the monitors are not going to come out of there. They're just, they're, they're in there pretty good. Right now I have them all secured, but um, while I was building the wall and getting everything set up, I, I didn't secure anything so that I could take them on and off pretty easily. And uh, what that looks like, once they're actually mounted to the back of a monitor, is this. Um, all these monitors were actually really easy to work with. Um, I was able to remove the stands, and then I, uh, you know, I, I think this monitor had some rubber grommets or rubber plugs. I just popped those out, screwed this in. The other ones had some plastic. The Strix monitors, I remember, actually had these two plastic rings that I really wasn't terribly fond of, but uh, uh, maybe we can go find one of those right now. We'll do a cut there. I'm going to go find that plastic thing because it's, it's stupid. <laughs> So these are the stupid plastic pieces I had to take off. The back of the ROG Strix monitor was was kind of ridiculous. It was a, a, it was just kind of an excessive amount of plastic and design going into something that you're absolutely never going to see. So just as an end user, I was like, well, I, I probably won't buy one of these monitors. It's kind of excessive. And if that's what I'm paying for, then I'm going to pass. Um, so. That's what all the hardware looks like. We can go ahead, I'll throw one of these monitors up on the wall just so you can see how easy it's been to work with. I did space them in a way. I'm just focusing here so I don't break it because it was actually this mount or this corner that, that fell off. So I did, uh, I did space the monitors so that I could lift these up and off uh, without having to tilt them up or down. I measured the distance of, I measured this distance and then I added about half an inch just so that I'd have a little bit of clearance in case, um, in case I ever needed to go work on it because if these monitors need work, it's gonna be me. Um, uh, but yeah, this was definitely this was definitely a project that required uh, a lot of measuring, a lot of thinking. Um, the I wanted to avoid the studs. We have metal studs in these walls because it's a commercial building, um, and you know, w drilling into metal studs is I'm not a huge fan of it. So because there was ten mounting points, I wasn't really worried about the capacity of the drywall holding these monitors up. But yeah, we still have a lot of cable management to do. I just have some power cables hung so that I could get an idea and I did some measuring. measuring. Um, 
but we're waiting on that stuff to arrive. Uh, of course, we do have the table. I've mounted a power strip back here. Um, this is hard mounted. This will be for all the monitors and all the systems that we're going to have here. I think we're going to have three systems total. I think we might actually do, uh, so I, like I said, we might do a wall mounted one right there on this, on this far wall. And then we also might build a, the height Y60, the red case, into a, a cool open loop build. I'm not sure what the plan is for that, but I'd be really game for that. That would be cool.